How's everybody doing? All right, all right, all right. Y'all, y'all, y'all look excited, and uh, we've got an exciting show for you today. I'm telling you, we, we, we've got and and uh, again. Uh, it's just amazing that you've got pastors and ministers and bishops that are producing movies. We've got uh, a movie we're going to talk about in a little bit. And we've got, we've, got, we've got one of the most dynamic uh, writers in the country when it comes to gospel music. Uh, I know you've heard this song, Every Praise, and uh, we've got the writer that's uh, with us, so he's going to be on the show in a little bit. And it's going to be an exciting show. We're going to talk about business. We're going to talk about reverse mortgage. We're going to talk about relationships a little bit. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Dennis Dillon Show. <laughs> You probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all of the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. The talented and the amazing Debbie Wallace. God bless you. How are you doing? I am <laughs> fabulous. I am fabulous. Yes. I, I, I'm just excited about music and particularly gospel music. So am I. And I know you've Love been in it. this. Love You're it. a musician and um, a producer. You've been doing music for a lot of years. We just yes. got done with Gospel Fest. That was amazing. Isn't gospel it? Fest was amazing. Mm. And you know what? I had an opportunity to interview some great gospel artists. Donnie McClurklin. Wow. Wow. Tamala Man. Mm. Oh, it was amazing. I tell you what, it about 35, 40,000 people at the Prudential Absolutely, Center. That yes. was something else. That was incredible. Uh, well, listen, I, I know you've got some dynamic uh, people that you're working with. Yes. And there's this artist that you're introducing to us today. Tell us a little bit about yes. it. Yes. I want to introduce to you guys Emanuela Young. Emanuela Young is a minister, she's a mom, she's a wife, she is a radio personality. She's got a lot of stuff going on. And she has just taken on the role as an artist. Mm, and mm. she is amazing. Wow. So I cannot wait for you guys to hear her. Well, what is she going to be doing for us? Well, she's going to be singing her, her single mm -hmm. entitled Songs of Breakthrough. And that's what she's going to be doing break for us through, today. Breakthrough, yes. breakthrough, breakthrough. Of course, you know, I did a whole series on that. And I've got the, the you know, breakthrough with Dennis Dunn. That's something that, that we also do. So I can't yes. wait to hear that yes. song. Yes, she's so. going to be amazing. Okay, she's amazing. beautiful. Yes. When we come back, we're going to have Emanuela Young singing her single entitled Songs of Breakthrough. Right after this. Yeah. All right, can't wait. You probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all of the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. There's a sound of breakthrough. Yeah. Breakthrough. I hear the sound of breakthrough. There's a sound. Every door 
Amazing. Tell me, Emanuela, you're a mom, you're a wife, you're a youth pastor, you're a TV host, you're a radio host, and now an artist. Yeah. Tell me, how do, how, how do you balance all of that? Number one, God. Mm. And number two, a wonderful, wonderful support system, my husband. Thank God for my husband and my family. They awesome. Help. Awesome. Mm. awesome. And that is, that, that's really good. Tell us just a little bit about this Breakthrough Project, yes. because I got this yes. thing uh, called Breakthrough. So yes. I'm always excited when I hear the word Breakthrough. Yes. So well, what's going on with this I got to give a shout out to my pastor, Pastor mm. Sharon. First of all, he mm. preached a 18-part sermon series wow. entitled wow. Breakthrough mm -hmm. for a whole year. Wow. And uh, I, I tell you, that was an inspiration. Mind you, the more he preached about it, I was like, I don't feel breakthrough until one day the Lord gave me the words. Wow. That's the fastest I ever wrote a song. Wow. It's, it's, yeah. uh, it's awesome. It's a where, do, where, where can folks get this CD yes. from? Where? Well, you can go, you go to um, iTunes, um, Google Play, Amazon, and you could download that. Wow. Well, we thank you so much. Thank so good you. to have you. All thank right. You. God bless thank you. Keep up the good work. Come on, let's put our hands thank together you. for yes. Emanuela. Yes, yes. You've probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all of the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. All right, all right. Welcome back. And uh, I've got uh, this dynamic uh, 
a man that's just doing some awesome things, Reverend uh, Alan Johnson, and he's with an organization called Perifunding. Yes, Dr. Sir. Johnson, God bless you. Always a pleasure to be in your presence, sir. Well, I tell you, you're doing so many things. How do you keep up? Hey, listen, God is good. I got the strength and the um, focus to do it. Um, you know, I remember one of the churches here in Brooklyn, the greatest and married church of Christ. Uh, our senior minister, the Bishop James Ronald James, I'm sure mm, you know him. That's right. Yeah. And, I, mm -hmm. and um, I'm one of the elders there. And also I um, work a lot with Bishop Ebony Kirkland in the chaplaincy area. I'm the dean of the chaplaincy organization at school. But um, in my secular world, uh, as you know, I'm a national spokesman for a company of the name of Prairie Fund. And that's what I want to talk about. I really want to talk about this reverse mortgage that that there's just so so much misunderstanding about it so i want you to kind of demystify that and just explain uh reverse mortgage because i know this was put in place by one of the former yes. u.s presidents president reagan 1985 mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. president mm -hmm. reagan has really tweaked it a lot uh reverse work is simply a financial uh tool only for seniors you must be 62 years or older okay and of course mm -hmm. you must own your own home and you have equity in that home that allow you to access a a portion of equity without having to make monthly payments. So seniors, uh, listen seniors, uh, and, and you children of seniors, seniors have equity in their home, yes, and yes. as opposed to them paying out a mortgage, right. they're actually being paid right. against the right. equity in their, in their homes. Yes, yes, they're paid against the equity, so all that hard work, all their saving, all their scraping, you know the way we do it, putting things together. They now say, listen, you can use part of this equity for your own use, for anything that you want. And the great thing about it is that the home stays title and deed it to you. Mm. That's the most important thing. So the, the, the home stayed titled and deeded to the, the homeowner, yes. despite the fact that they're yes. getting paid. Yes. Wow, yes. That, that's amazing. One question, though, and, and, and that is uh, what happened when this senior decides that now they want to uh, will this to their children? I mean, will they have a home to will to their children later on? Sure they do. Sure they will. Let me tell you, the federal government, which this loan is insured by, all the banks do not want your home. Wow. They, they want your home. Mm. So... What I do is that I try to share with people that if you want to leave this to your children, all they have to be is prepared either to purchase a home or to sell the home. Mm -hmm. If they want to purchase a home, have their own mortgage, get their own mortgage. If they want to sell the home, they buy the home, whatever what is owed, and the rest is there. You're the, always the, in Just one position. very critical question. Mm -hmm. um, would the children have to go through the same credit process in order to, to get the home from their parents? Yes, because they will have to get their own mortgage. That's why our children must be prepared mm. to go through that process. Got you, got you. Well, I tell you, we appreciate that. Share with folks just a little bit how to get in touch with you, how to get in touch with Perry Funding, and certainly how to learn more about this. Well, my number is 516-860-3332. That's my direct line, 516-860-3332. Mm. You can call me at any time, myself, or I will send one of my colleagues out to sit down and discuss it with you and the family. And everybody's situation is different. That's why we need to have a personal and a, an, an amazing concept, and we certainly appreciate you sharing that with us. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Reverend Alan Johnson from Perry Funding. <laughs> When we come back, why the marriage rate is declining in these United States of America, our correspondent Deidre Braz is going to be with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Because God said, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I once was in prison, but I'm not an ex con Eight years without her father for something I didn't do. She's been writing me these letters in prison, talking like God, some type of superhero. I want to see the hat. What's the hat? McDonald's hat, Burger King hat, hot dog on a stick hat. Just smile, just put on that hat. They love me, they did it, and I'm still a mess. The second chances. The second chances! This neighborhood could be just a little bit rough around the edges. I need to know if I can trust you. Welcome to the new job, man. Thank you, man. Julio! July. This is Manny, our projectionist. 
Put Say Reese's on. Pieces again. Reese's Pieces, man. Reese's Pieces. I like it's it. English, man. What do you want? <laughs> if you and I are going to do business, I need complete transparency. Yo, man, I just finished the inventory. I just need the keys to... Yo, what's this? They got me in that van with those canisters. What type of product you got me delivering? Pitching eight drugs from a block to block. Hey, you better relax, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Hi, this is Agent Thurman. I can prove Escalante has an intent and the resources to go national. In this particular neighborhood, Escalante's got ties. I need you to help me. Hey, yo, Chris, tell your boy he keeps digging. I might find just enough dirt to get buried. I lost everything. There's something I didn't do. What type of guy is gonna watch a man get up on his feet and then kick him right back down and get drugged through the dirt again? Where have you been, kid? These people take communion from me. I am their God. Feel like you're wandering, no aims, no accomplishments. Life's passing by, gotta make something out of it. And every time the clock tick, you'll be so reminded how time flies, but you ain't in the cockpit. Cause Mondays is right back to that workplace where you hate it, but you gotta get paid. All right, well, welcome back, welcome back. And uh, again, we are gonna go to life in the day of real talk. Deidre Braz, you're gonna share a little bit of that with us. What's our topic today? So today's topic is a very interesting topic, a very relevant topic. Mm. Why has the marriage rate decreased? Huffington Post states that for every 1,000 women mm -hmm. in the U.S., only 31 of those women are getting married out of 1,000. 31? Yes. Yes. Wow, that's unbelievable. So there's what, 969? <laughs> that <I'm not> <laughs> that's a huge number. No, for real. Very it, huge it, I, 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 listen, folks, this is serious. This is really serious. Very, very. So, what's going on? What are, what's the reason? Why is that the case? So, all right. Well, it also states that the percentage of cohabiting couples is rising. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are saying that they're attending a lot more baby showers than they are weddings. That means us preachers are probably doing a lot more baby blessings exactly, than we're, right. we're, we're married <laughs> folks. Uh, wow. So everything mm. else within the relationships are happening. Couples okay. are moving in together. Mm -hmm. Couples are having children. But that marriage rate is decreasing. So that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of and figure out, you know, what the people in the streets and what people are, what their personal opinions are on that. I know you're going to go to the piece and, and talk about it. Uh, and, and the piece is probably going to answer some questions. But, right. but what are people saying? What's going on? Well, uh, people's opinions on that are that there's a lot more distractions mm, in this mm -hmm. generation than there mm -hmm. were before. Uh, finance plays a big issue. Okay. You know, in the older generations, whether you were poor or rich, mm -hmm. you were still mm -hmm. getting married. You put love first. Mm -hmm. Now it's finance first. The cost mm -hmm. of living has gone up, mm -hmm. but the people are not comfortable financially. They're putting their weddings and their marriages on hold. Wow. So, I, I am amazed that, that, that this, this has uh, an economic root. So I'm very, very curious right. uh, for us to go to the piece. So tell us what's going on in this piece and we're going to go right to it. So we went to the streets and mm. we asked everyone what, they, what their personal opinion, what they feel is their reason why the marriage rate has decreased. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's get to it. Uh, this piece coming from our correspondent, Deidre Braz. Economically, I mean, I just think once you see it like a struggle in society, then you'll see a struggle in families, marriages, friendships, everything, you know. So when people are making less money, people are less happy, people are less uh, stable. So stability is a big issue, you know, once money is a problem. And as far as technology, I mean, the way we met each other before, you know, it was more with, you know, more moral and we courted each other longer. I just think the moral of men and women is changing. I feel like our generation is settling for less. And what I mean by that, I mean you're getting pregnant and you're settling for what was in high school and then after that you've got three kids, 
you guys live together, you're not married, and you're settling for that because that's what it is. We are in a culture where there's instant gratification. Right. Like you want things done right now, this way, and you expect that mate of yours to be that. And it's like you have to grow to get to know another person and you're not willing to allow that. You're just like, you know, this he's not acting the way I want him to act. Cut it and, off. You know what, that's it, I had enough. And they're not willing to sacrifice and go against that grain to get what they really want. They don't have work. enough patience. The, the older generation can go 25, 30 years, 40 years and be together for X period of time and then this this new generation could barely last three years together. You see what I'm saying? So, and then, there's a reason for that. There, and there, there's many reasons for it. But w what's the reason? So how many different reasons can one, they be? One, for? one main reason? I think there's way too many distractions now than it was before. I just feel like love is not pure anymore. Like people take it for granted, the word love. And it's just, it's not golden. Back in the days, it was easier because, you know, that was the thing to do. Leave your mother's house at a young age, get married, have kids. Nowadays, people are doing their own thing. Like, it's hard to even stay in a relationship, more or less get to the point of marriage. Our generation, we don't see couples being together for a really long time. So that's the problem. We have no examples. I think that the that the amount of time and energy that's spent breaking a marriage in, in a divorce court should be the amount of time and energy spent in preparing somebody for marriage. I think that the role of women, obviously in the workplace, but just equality for women, is so different than it used to be. Um, like more women are working, they have their own lives, they're independent, they're not dependent on finding a man to invest their whole life in and like ma man and children to kind of make that their life. They have a life. And if like marriage finds its way into that life, that's like totally great, but it's not what they're waiting for. It's not traditional at all. So it just comes down, it goes with the mothering style of living. People just go with the flow. Don't think that marriage really matters no more. Marriage is all about forgiveness. It's all about compromise. And it's about turning the other cheek. And young people don't know how to do that. I feel like this generation is actually being raised to be single people and to be single individuals. So people just, people look at, when you get married, people look at it as, okay, divorce is an option. Divorce is not supposed to be an option. So I'm like, if you're getting married, it's like, yo, it's me and you, we're rocking out. Like, it's, there's no divorce. You mad at me, I'm mad at you. Oh, well, you go sleep in the corner and we'll talk about it later. And there's no, I'm breaking up, I'm leaving, none of that. Stuff like that. Uh, if you really look at the music nowadays, like what, what's good, what's in right now, it's so much different from what we used to listen to, what we grew up listening to. The love songs, talking about how we care about a woman, how to treat a woman. Nowadays, you hear a, a song that's only talking about sex and getting them to the, to the bedroom and all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, that's how I look at you know, young couples nowadays. This is what they're looking to do. They're not looking to marry. They're not looking to have a family or nothing like that. Because we've seen more divorce as a generation, maybe we're not as... We don't have this idea that marriage is foolproof. It's like, well, I mean, divorce happens, and it happens a lot, so maybe I want to be more sure about this, or maybe it isn't even for me, or it's not necessary. But there's not really any more second chances. You know, if there's a mistake that's done, there's no, okay, what could we do to sit down and work it out? Mm -hmm. It's just straight, yes, it's always a wrap. But I think there really is this thing now happening in the world where if you are unhappy, you can make yourself happy. You can make changes in your life to be that way. And I think that people are more willing to get divorced and to get out of a relationship now for themselves, which is kind of a selfish thing, depending on the situation. But I just think that, in a way, that the sort of individual happiness is more important now than it used to be. Ah, wow, that was, that was a mouthful. Yeah, exactly. That was a lot of stuff. So here goes probably three of the areas that, 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 that I see. Number one, obviously finances that, that, that really play a, a really huge role. Uh, number two, I'm getting the sense that 
uh, the, the commitment to marriage and, and uh, to the traditional form of marriage uh, as we find in the Bible or the Talmud or the Quran. Um, that seemed to be almost out the window for a lot of th this generation. Mm -hmm. And the third thing that I see, which is an interesting point that, that, that uh, you brought up was the, the, that, that came through, is the whole issue of, of women being independent and out doing their thing and... Uh, no longer you know, feeling that need. Yeah. Mm. You know, because, well, two of my favorite opinions in uh, that video is the marriage no longer being traditional. People no longer feel that ob obligation mm. to have that foundation of marriage and then move in together and then have children. They're doing it in the order they feel is comfortable for them. Mm. So that's one. And then another one, uh, another guy states that... Divorce is not, the, people are looking at divorce as an option and it's not supposed to be. Mm. So when you get married, you say till death do us part. But when things get rough, if the wife feels like the husband is not doing his hu husband duties or the husband feels like she's not doing her wifely duties, the first option is divorce rather than saying, I'm not going anywhere, you're not going anywhere, we're going to figure this thing out and we're going to ride it out together. So that sounds, yeah, like, so. That sounds like the upside of this <laughs> non-marriage scenario. And that is we obviously would end up with less divorce. Deidre, thank you. Thank you. And uh, I know you have an exciting piece for us next week. I, I can't do. wait, can't wait to hear it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be right back with uh, Bishop Eric Garns. He is the associate producer for this brand new movie that comes out this weekend right here in New York. We'll be right back. Keep listening. Keep watching. You've probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all of the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. We are back. <laughs> and, and I tell you, we've got, we've got this, this uh, exciting segment because uh, just the thought of a preacher producing or co-producing a movie is, is exciting for me. That's really something exciting, isn't it? And, and uh, we've got uh, Bishop Eric Garns. Bishop Garns is the pastor for Tabernacle of Praise in the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, y'all. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And, and uh, <clears throat> associate producer is, 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 is just something that's amazing. So tell, you know, how do you go from preacher to movie producer, because this is exciting for me. <laughs> thank you so kindly. It's good to be here on your show, and thank you for the invite. Mm. Actually, this travel and this journey has been an excitement for me for quite some time. Mm. And the reason is that I firmly have a philosophy that the church doesn't only have to send the message from the standard traditional style mm. of showing up on Sunday morning and preaching from the pulpit. And the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ can go through various mediums, and one of the mediums, through the movies. And that, that's exciting for me because we just have to break the, the traditional uh, mindset that church has to be one way. Right. That if you don't have a pulpit and the pews, then you're not in church. So this is exciting. So tell us a little bit, Restore Me, that's an awesome name for a movie. Obviously, oh. there's some spiritual significance to that, sure. isn't it? <laughs> So, so tell us a little bit about Restore Me. Where did this idea came from? And what should viewers expect when they go to the movie theaters to watch this? Well, first of all, we'll be coming out tomorrow, which is on Monday, June the 6th. That's wow. the first thing at the UA mm. Court Street Theater. Mm. The good. second thing is that our executive producer, Ryan Lamar, uh -huh. is out of California okay. for Red Gorilla uh, Productions Incorporated. Mm -hmm. And he is our mind, our brain, our creativity at its best. The movie came as a result of of when you look at yourself and where you've been, the things you have been through, mm. the average individual would look at, your look at you and look at your testimony and try to figure out, why don't you look like what you've been through? Mm. Because if this is the testimony of the 
the journey and the challenges that has actually met you with some serious stones and, and boulders, you would expect an individual to come out very depressed. You'll expect a person to be operating from a very melancholy style and spirit. Instead, what Restored Me presents to you the challenge that a gentleman has in our multicultural world that we live in, primarily our, our minority community, how he is wrongfully convicted and how his faith sees him through the challenge. Wow, wow. And when people realize what he had dealt with and how a curveball in the movie has been sent to him mm -hmm. and how he reverses the whole piece to give God glory and shine light on the judicial system of our day. Well, faith, and faith, faith is really about uh, the, the ability to, to experience something, to go through struggles, to go through challenges, and then rise above those challenges and through those challenges. I want to play uh, just a little clip of, of the movie. Please if, if you don't do. Mind. No, please show, show it. I want to show just the show clip. You a little clip. So, so if, if you would just set up a clip for us, and then we're just going to go to that clip and come back. Excellent. Thank you so kindly. Please get ready to see the energy, the power that comes through Giovanni, the, 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 the lightning that, that he operates with, with his acting skills mm -hmm. and the design of how his, his verbiage actually comes across with all the messages. This clip will literally give you a reason why you need to be at the movie theater. Take a look. Restore me. What makes you think that you can figure this out? We need God to figure this out. That's who's gonna figure this out. God. Yes, God. God. Yeah, yes, God. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. Let me ask you something. So, do you think if there was a guy we'd be going through this mess? Yes. I've done nothing but try to make our life better, Monica. I've tried to turn our life around. But what did I get for it? What did the Julio get for it? Eight years, Monica. Look at me. Eight years! Eight years! Mm -hmm. I lost eight years of my life, my daughter, you! I have nothing. I lost everything. My scholarship, mm -hmm. my daughter's first day of school, mm -hmm. birthday parties for something I didn't do. And you tell me what type of God is that? What type of God is gonna watch a man get up on his feet mm -hmm. and then kick him right back down and get drugged through the dirt again? Mm -hmm. I don't deserve this. Yes, you do. It's the same God who gave me the strength to hold on and wait for you. You think about that? You were not the only person in prison, okay? Me and Liam were in prison too. You know he gave me the power to go to school, right? Huh? To go to school, get a good education, and get a good job by myself to take care of her. And the same God, when things got rough, he put food on his table, okay? He did it. And that same God protected you. So don't talk to me about what God can't do. That's good for you. Wow, I just got to go see this. Please, <laughs> you got to come. You got to come. Sounds like, it, it sounds and it looks like everybody got to go see this. That's I right. think, as you stated, the energy, the music, it, it's just exciting. Listen, give us again where folks can go see this movie, uh, what's the schedule and things of that nature, and if they can get it on DVD or any other means as well. Well, let me explain to you real quickly. It's First of all, it's the paid theatrical screening. So there's limited seating for this particular unit that's coming out Monday, June 6th at the UA Theater Court, uh, Court Street. Now, if they're going to go on, they have to go on to our sites. Which I'll, you see what's on our website. It comes up right there on the screen. Mm -hmm. Let's click on there. They can purchase their tickets. That's but I promise you, they will not be disappointed. Anyone that is coming needs to get ready to bring their popcorn or they purchase their popcorn, their Coca-Cola, their juices, and be ready to sit back and enjoy one of the most powerful Christian-based movies that is going to hit the screens on September, in September. I'm just excited that uh, the church is taking this beyond the pulpit, and, and I salute you just for the tremendous work that you're doing, and just keep up the great work. Thank you so kindly. We have another one coming out in June, so get ready for the, for the wow, one that comes right wow. behind this one. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Um, We'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to have Debbie Wallace coming back, and she's got another dynamic artist. Of course, you've all heard of this dynamic artist. I won't say who he is yet. you got to stay tuned to The Dennis Dillon Show. God bless you. Woo.
You've probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all of the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. All right, well, um, we're back with uh, Debbie Wallace. And Debbie, you've got another exciting segment for us. Yes, I do. And you know what? I cannot wait for you guys to hear this next artist. Mm. His name is Minister John David Bratton, and he is the songwriter of every praise that was made famous by Bishop Hezekiah Walker. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always amazed by that because sometimes you've got these famous artists out there yes. with these dynamic songs yes. and you think they yes. write it and then all of a sudden right. you heard somebody someone else. write it. Yes. And, and, and so David Bratton, does he mostly write? David, uh, David is a, a songwriter, but he's, he's also a producer. Mm. Um, and he also, he's also a, a, the leader of God's Blueprint for Life Ministry, mm. which is the choir that was started by his, uh, himself and his wife. Mm. So this is what mm. David is doing right now. And um, recently he just released his live CD project mm -hmm. entitled Every Praise Live. And uh, a lot of the songs that he's written on that album, uh, most of the songs he's written on it, there's some other songwriters on there also, but it's a great project. Um, I've heard, got a chance to listen to all of the songs. The songs are fantastic. And I know that they were going to be a blessing to those that hear the songs. Yes. Well, I tell you, that, that that sounds really good. We're just coming off Matt Lawrence Gospel Fest with all these great artists. And, and I know, that was amazing. Yeah, wasn't that amazing? That was amazing. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to interview some folks backstage. I got to meet Donnie McClurklin. Mm. And that was amazing. Mm. And I got to interview... Um, Tamela Man, Man and also the great um, Jennifer, Jennifer Holiday. Holiday. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was so awesome! Well, don't that get all, awesome. don't get overly excited. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's get to let's get to David Brad. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Mm. Well, you know what? At this time, I want to introduce to you guys Minister David Bratton singing "Heal You." All right, let's hear it. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Bible says that my God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. But the next part says, according to the power that's working in you. Anybody know that the power of God is working in your life? Come on. The song says, it is God's will. It is God's will. Uh-huh. To heal you. Come on. To heal you. It is God's way. It is God's way. To save you. It's God's, desire it's God's desire that you would prosper. You would yes, Lord. Prosper and be, be in health. Be in health. Then it says, even as. Even as uh -huh. Let everything else follow. Let everything else then the word says, it is His will, his will that you be healed. Yes, Lord. Anybody know he's able to heal you from every infirmity, every sickness, every disease? For my God is able. Thank you, Lord. Then it says, heal me, O oh Lord. Come on. Heal me, oh Lord. And I shall be healed. And I shall be healed. That's what the word says. Save me, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. And I shall be saved. And I shall be saved. For thou, O oh Lord. For thou, O oh Lord. You are my praise. Come on. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. Then he says, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand. Uh -huh. Therefore, choose life. your hand. I choose grace. I choose strength. I choose peace. I choose love. I choose Jesus for my life. Come on, I choose life. I choose help. I choose grace. I choose strength. Uh -huh. I choose strength. I choose peace. 
Jesus. Over your life. Speak the name Jesus. Over my life. Uh -huh. Speak the name Jesus. Over your life. Speak the name Jesus. 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 Speak the name. Over your life. Speak the name Jesus. Over my life. Come on. Speak the name Jesus. Away my sin, nothing from the blood. His name is in the blood, and His blood. Name the name. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Name the name Jesus. The only name whereby you can be saved. Name the name. Come on. I trust His name because He's able. Name the name. Jesus, 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 my hope is built on nothing, nothing less than Jesus, Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I know he will deliver. Name the name. Everybody go clap your hands. Come on, real big. Name the name Jesus. Whereby you can be saved if you call him same name. You can call him late in the midnight hour and he will deliver saved. Jesus. Jesus. Name the name. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you might as well cut your hands on you people. My God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. According to the power that's working in you, God bless you in Jesus' name. All right, I've got my own autographed copy of Every Praise Life. Thank yes. you, David. Yes. Thank you, man. Awesome, awesome. And, and yes. I tell you, th that was just unbelievable yes, because, it was. Uh, again, yes, it the was. scripture. Uh, I, my beloved, I wish above all things that yes, they'll sir. be prosper and be in health. A lot of those thoughts came. What is it that motivates you to do these kinds of uh, inspirational music? Where we're not just talking about the pie in the sky, but how to help folks to live in practical ways now. Well, you know, this particular song, my wife had gone to the doctor and they gave her a bad report. And they mm. said they saw something in her... Uh, breast exam mm, and she mm. was came home unsettled right. couldn't sleep next morning she goes to work when she went to work I picked up my Bible and picked up my computer and looked up scriptures of healing and I wrote the this particular song in the uh, the order that I found Beautiful. the scriptures in Beautiful. I wrote this song yes. when she came home I said sing this song until you are completely healed wow. Wow. next time she goes wow. to the doctor they said they can't find nothing wow oh, man, that's awesome praise God yes the, mir the miracles of God. Yes, it is. Yes, no yes it is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. David, what brought about this CD? How did the CD uh, came about? My wife and I started a ministry called God's Blueprint for like about two and a half years ago. And it's uh, meant to minister to minstrels and people who are in music ministry. But for the first nine months, all we did was pray and teach the word of God as it relates mm. to people who participate in ministry. And nine months in, we have uh, 80 singers and 25 people in dance ministry. And one of the dancers, not even one of the singers, one of the dancers says, let's do something. So they said, let's do a concert. So we said, okay. Yes. And they said, well, since we're doing a concert, let's record it. I said, okay. Wow. You know, and, then <laughs> next thing you, and we had no budget. And when mm -hmm. I tell you, by the time we finished this actual project, all the bills were paid, the yeah. project completely done, and mm -hmm. it was nothing but the grace mm -hmm. of God. Wow. Awesome. Awesome, tell, awesome. I, I want you to tell everybody, I got my copy. And by the way, we've got a complimentary copy for everybody in the audience. So <laughs> yeah. um, but awesome. can you just... 
tell folks how can they get the, the, the CD and uh, just where your ministry is going. We're just yes. grateful to have you with us. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Uh, they can find the CD on iTunes, Amazon, anywhere digitally where you can find music. Uh, Every Praise Live will be there. You can look us up on Facebook under God's Blueprint for Life Ministry or David Bratton. And um, God is taking the ministry um, to places where we've never seen. We just got a phone call to go to Romania, mm. Hungary, mm. Um, Italy. Um, we also been, we got we were asked to come to a museum in Gary, Indiana, which happens to be at the Jackson's house. Wow! And they asked us to come and sing there. Awesome. So we're just going to get people healed and filled yes. with the Word of God. Awesome. And I, I tell you, as, as just when we go back to to the every praise. Uh, with with Hez Bishop Hezekiah Walker, yes, sir. yourself yeah. and, and the whole team. I'm hearing that song. I just got back from Egypt. Uh, I heard the song in That's Egypt. Yes. I, I heard the song in South Africa. Yeah. Oh, so wow. this every praise is everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. uh, let's put our hands together for David Bratton. David, it's a pleasure. Thank, to you, thank you so much, David. Right, thank God. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. We are around the water cooler. Dennis, Deidre, and Debbie. I like that. <laughs> that sounds really yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but we're here, folks, and uh, I'm telling you, this was just awesome. A wonderful show. And Deidre, I loved your piece. Thank you. I felt it was necessary to touch on that topic. Very relevant with what's going on today. So, And that's definitely a to-be-continued piece. Yes, exactly. we right. do so have to continue I, I that piece. I hope you're doing some more work yes. and some more research on that because we'll work on it. that is definitely a to-be-continued Yes, segment. we have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the music. The music, the music was, was amazing. The energy was electric. Yes. And that movie, I'm looking forward to it, Restore Me. And yes. again, as Bishop Garn said, this is going to be ongoing for a while. Yes. And that, that's good. Just to see uh, <laughs> ministers and preachers kind of stepping right, out. Right, of right. Exactly. Into a different, the, the a different yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And doing new stuff. New stuff. New <laughs> stuff. Stepping out of the box. And it, it's, the it's box. where we ought to be because yes. there's so much happening now yes. just from yes. all the stuff we're talking about. Yes. We, we got to get with some new things. Yeah, we do. And we, we don't need to box ourselves into just one, you know, one place and, you know, try different things and do different things, you know. Well, I tell you, so much is happening. It's, it's as we all know, this is an election year. Yes, it Probably is. Probably one of the most energetic and exciting yes. election year. I thought when Obama ran, that was an exciting year. But I thought I'm so, too. You know, I thought so, too. Yes. Yes. I did that with right. Bernie and Hillary mm -hmm. and Trump. And Trump. This, I'm telling yes. you. This is, yes. So, what are we doing, guys? Who are you voting for? Who are you voting for? Anybody mm -hmm. got a well, you know yeah. what? I have not, I have not made up my mind yet. Mm. I, I know who I'm not voting for. <laughs> that I do know who I'm not voting for. I wonder who but, that is. I wonder who that is. <laughs> but I, I won't tell here. Mm. But but I, you know, I'm still, you know, look, listening to the, the the candidates and listening to the issues, mm. and I still haven't made up my mind yet. But I know that I will. What I can tell is that I am going to vote. Mm. I am going to vote. And so. everybody, everybody should make yes. their way to the polls. But Deidre, yes. you're in that age group because this this Bernie frenzy and all of this energy, I don't know, I don't want to put you on the spot or anything, <laughs> but, 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 you know, this energy is just amazing from your age group as yeah, it relates to Bernie yeah, Saunders. Yeah, definitely. Um, for me, I have to, I'm going to have to go with who I can relate to. Mm -hmm, I'm going to have to mm -hmm. go with experience. You uh -huh. are leading the United States of America. Mm. Crazy things happen in this world every day. Yes, I have to be yes. confident knowing that my president is going to make the right decisions for this country. Yeah, yeah. So, and certainly not 
any that's hot headed, not any that. Exactly. Um, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. I'm not calling any names. No, we're not calling any day. names. You know, no it, names. No names. But I, I, on a serious note, though, um, uh, it is so important that everybody make it to the polls yes, and, yes. and we vote this election. Yes, we do. And um, it, it's it's uh, you know. when you look at the the political landscape, it's going to be tough. It is it is Very, really tough. Yes. Any candidate yes, that we choose is going to be tough. We're yes. going to have to look at it as the lesser of two evils or, or, exactly or, or, right. or, or the less of two goods. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure which one it is. But you know what? We want to encourage everyone to please go out and vote. You have, you have a voice and you need to use that voice. You cannot complain if you do not vote. Mm -hmm. Can't complain. Don't you agree with me? I absolutely right. agree with you. Right. I yes. absolutely yes. agree. Reverend Dillon, I know you have an inspirational word for us. What is that going I, to be? I most certainly do. I, I'm talking about rising up. That's been my theme wow. all year. And I want to talk about how we rise up to be giants. Yes. How do we break the gross supper mentality and be strong, mighty mm -hmm. men and women yes. maximizing our potential? Wow, that sounds like a word I need to hear. Yes, me and too. On that note, we'll be right back with a special word from Reverend Dylan. You've probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages from celebrities and gotten calls from companies all around the country. I'm Steve from Perry Funding, and we are your neighbors. We can sit with you and explain all of the benefits of a reverse mortgage. If you're a homeowner 62 years or older, then you can use a government-assured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool that allows you to stay in your home and to turn your equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. Call us at 516-900-1500. Perry Funding can help you live a better life. We, we want to we wanna talk a little bit about rising up to the power of a giant and what it is that that we must do if we are to rise and 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 be giants and and how do we how do we rise beyond where we are and truly become what God desires and what God expects us to be and to become let, let me let me let me share this this scripture with you in uh, second Corinthians chapter 4 from verse 7 through 9 and and hear this folks I want you to really hear this we are like clay jars in which this treasure is stored the real power comes from God and not from us we often suffer but we are never crushed even when we don't know what to do we never give up. In trouble, God is with us. How many can decree with me that God is with us? And when we are knocked down, we get back up again. How many really want to get back up again? Somebody ought to say, rise up, rise up, rise up. I, I am determined that I'm going to get back up again. I want to talk with us about how we rise from this, what I call the grasshopper mentality, to become mighty men and uh, mighty giants. How do we rise to fulfill God's mandate and God's expectation for our lives? And, and, and I want to share a couple of quick thoughts with us and understand this. Uh, th that you, you got to become so strong and so determined that you're going to max out at life. That you will never allow the size of your challenges to reduce you to a grasshopper. Yes. Now, now, for you to understand this in context, you're going to have to really get back to the word of God and, and look at the story of, of, of these 12 spies that were sent to spy the land. And, and, and let me tell you something, folks. The majority is not always right. You know, 10 of those spies came back with a bad report and they said, we don't have the power or the ability to take the land. But two spies came back, Caleb and Joshua, and they said, we are well able to take the land. And, and Caleb in particular, he was ready to go up at once and take the land. But the other 10, I need you to understand this, the other 10, 
they look at these huge men in 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 the land these 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 these, these giant looking men and when they came back the 10 of them said listen the land is is beautiful the land is flowing with milk and honey the land is filled with resources but when we went to the land we saw all these giants in the land and then when we look at the giants and then we turn around and we look at ourselves we saw ourselves as grasshoppers in our own eyes because we saw them as giants. Let me tell you something. If you dare to have the power within, it doesn't matter if an elephant is in front of you. You know, you, 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 you never reduce yourself to the level of a grasshopper. And, and I need us to understand that God calls us not just to dream dreams but 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 to have the courage somebody say the courage you gotta have the courage to live those dreams and whenever you develop the courage to live your dreams it simply means that you are rising to a level where you always see beyond your circumstances you you see beyond your struggles you see beyond your challenges because there is always something more and something better Somebody say something more and something better. Somebody say we're rising up. We're rising up. We're rising up. We are rising up. So this is, this is really about the people of God rising. It's about, ladies and gentlemen, every one of you making a commitment that you're going to rise. I'm going to rise. I will never be comfortable where I am. I'm going to rise above my difficulties. How many understand that there are difficulties in life? There are difficulties in life. There are difficult challenges in life. There are difficult situations that we go through in life. But let me share these four bullet points with you. I need you to note them because at the end of the day here at the Brooklyn Christian Center, our mission is to make sure that the people of God are learning and we're growing. And it doesn't matter who you are, wherever you're from, there is room for you to grow and to become a better man and a better woman. We can't be so caught up in the pie in the sky meet me in the sweet by and by theology that we're not dealing with how we live a fulfilled life while we're here on earth and so watch these points number one is 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 uh, you know it, it is it is it is life everybody say life life is 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 not a bed of roses but there are beds of roses in life so I got to I got to get to the place where even though I understand that life is not always a bed of roses but but I got to look for the bed of roses that, that that's in life so while you go through stuff how many know that life is to be enjoyed life is to be enjoyed it's to be fully enjoyed success favors the bold and the one who dare the difficult so if you're not prepared to deal the difficult stuff, you will never rise to the level of success that you desire to rise to because success, everybody say success, success favors the bold. Behold the turtle. He gets nowhere until he sticks his neck out. You know, th th that's, that's the way the turtle works. In fact, God so, so skillfully created the turtle that the turtle can't move unless he sticks his neck out. Or you won't get to where you need to go. You won't rise to where you need to rise if you're not sticking your neck out. If you're not rising, moving from the place where you are and begin to elevate your, whole, your own consciousness to the place where God desires for you to be. So, so it is this crippling effect of fear that blocks our success. Rise above your fear. These 10 men who came back with this negative report, they did so because of fear. And so the shallow thinker is too surface to make any deep impact. The shallow thinker, too surface to make a deep impact. So I got to rise. Everybody say, I got to rise. I got to rise above that. I got to live a life of courage because a life without courage is a life without virtue. 
the virtue that that one manifests grows through the courage that one possesses. So if I don't possess uh, a level of courage, uh, then I will not truly be a man or a woman of virtue. And that simply means uh, that I will always have some, some flimsy, lazy excuse uh, for my pitiful circumstances as opposed to finding ways to rise above it. Mm -hmm. Somebody say rise. Somebody say rise. Somebody, somebody say rise. Mm -hmm. Rise. Rise. So you can measure yourself against your giants and see how small you are. Or you can measure your giants against your God and see how mighty he is. And if you understand this mighty God, then you will begin to rise. Somebody say rise. rise. And so I decree to you that God is. He is the source of all your power. He is the great I am. He is the most powerful of all forces in the universe. All I need to do is to come to a place of surrender to this mighty and this awesome God. So for power, for poise, for peace, for purpose, for plans, for pursuit, and for the sounds of success and victory within my life, I begin this journey to rise. Somebody say rise. So I am rising up. I am rising up from faith to favor, from, from favor to focus, and from focus to a glowing future. Let me thank you for, for watching and invite you to join us at the Brooklyn Christian Center for an electronic version of the presentation. And for any of my books, please connect with us. Please email us at riseupnewyork at gmail.com or you can call us at 718-638-6397. The number is on your screen. And so as we close out, we say this exciting thing at the Brooklyn Christian Center every time. I would that we say this together as we journey to the next level and get ready for next week ladies and gentlemen and that is as we function at our fullest potential in the abundance that God intends we will rise up and live